Hello, and welcome to another Schiller training session. In this video, I'll explain the differences between ECM Titanium and WinOall software. The goal is to help you choose the right tool for your tuning workshop and business. Your choice depends on your needs and tuning methods. It's ideal to have access to both tools, as we do at Schiller, but sometimes you may need to pick just one. So let's explore the key differences between these two platforms. We're going to remap a BMW 530D with an EDC 16C 35 ECU. When we load the file in ECM Titanium, it tells us it's already been loaded before. Let's assume it hasn't. After clicking No, the software starts searching the database to identify the correct driver. I'll explain what drivers are shortly. In WinWall, the process is different. When you load a file, it immediately scans and detects potential maps. Here, around 332 maps. However, when it doesn't name the maps, it finds many tables, but doesn't tell you which one is for turbo, rail pressure, boost, fuel, or lambda. You must identify them yourself. So, in WinWall, you need proper training and technical knowledge to find and modify maps. In contrast, ECM Titanium automatically identifies maps, their names, the driver, and ECU. Once you confirm the driver, you can directly access the predefined map tables created by Alien Tech engineers. In ECM, you don't need to search for maps, just modify them. Some advanced features, like creating your own driver makers, will be covered in future sessions. In WinOLS, you must rely on your knowledge to search maps using 2D or 3D views, often by pressing F. You need to recognize which maps are for EGT, turbo, rail pressure, etc. The maps are not labeled, so it doesn't tell you what function each table controls. But in ECM, map names are clear. You just focus on editing. Learning ECM is easier because maps are already identified. You still need training to modify them properly, but it's much faster and more user-friendly. On the other hand, WinWallace takes more time and deeper knowledge just to locate the correct maps. However, WinWallace offers flexibility, for example, finding a DTC, diagnostic trouble code, like P0420 is simple with control F. In ECM, this kind of search is very difficult or sometimes not possible. Let's say we're searching for a torque limiter map. If you've attended iTraining, you'll recognize that this is a gear-based torque limiter. You can view how torque changes in each gear. In WinWall, the values are usually shown in hexadecimal by default, so you have to convert them to decimal to understand the actual units. For example, a value of 4,000 might mean 400 nanometers of torque, or 3,000 could be 3,000 revolutions per minute. In ECM, these values are already shown in real-world units with proper scaling. Like here, you can see a torque value of 457.3 nanometers directly. In WinWall, the raw values look different. You need to apply the correct offset and factor to convert them into meaningful numbers. This is another major difference between the two software tools.
Again, in WinLoss, you must find and tune each map manually. In ECM, you only need to tune because the maps are already found and organized. Searching for specific items like DTCs, DPF, or EGR maps is much easier in WinLoss. In ECM, it's more limited and often not practical. Another example, let's say you have multiple maps for Lambda, maybe nine of them. In ECM, if you change one, you can overwrite and apply the same change to all similar maps automatically. In Win Wallace, you must do it manually one by one. So, if you have 100 maps related to a single function in WinOS, you must edit all of them separately. But in ECM, the process is much faster and easier. In summary, if you're serious about chip tuning, it's best to have both ECM Titanium and WinWalls. If you just want to tune quickly and don't need to remove DTCs or disable DPF EGR, ECM might be enough. ECM Titanium costs around 2,200 euros or 1,100 euros if you already have KESS or KTAG with a yearly subscription of about 500 euros. It uses a USB dongle for licensing. WinWalls, on the other hand, is a one-time payment of about $1,000 USD. No dongle or subscription required. Both tools receive regular updates. WinWalls is developed by EVC. ECM by Elian Tech. This video covered the core functional differences between the two. Visual design and appearance were not discussed here. This training video outlined the fundamental differences between ECM Titanium and WinLS. ECM offers a more user-friendly interface with pre-identified map tables, making it ideal for quicker and simpler tuning tasks. And WinLS, however, provides greater flexibility and control suitable for advanced users who need to modify DTCs, disable EGR or DPF systems, and explore maps in depth. Choosing between the two depends on your technical expertise and business needs. For comprehensive tuning capabilities, having both tools at your disposal is the optimal approach. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.